Thank you, girl. Guys, today's video, we are gonna talk about hernias. Hernias, and are they uh, something you should be worried about? Are they something that you, know, you need to deal with right away? Something long-term that could affect the dog? We're gonna talk about that in today's video because actually Champagne had one. You can get a close up on that. So we're gonna talk about what that means for a puppy and give you a lot of information on what a hernia is on a French Bulldog puppy. So as you can see, Champagne is doing amazing. Even though she got her hernia repaired, which again, there are two types of hernias. Where's Champagne, come, come here. Good girl. There is the inguinal hernia, and then there is the umbilical cord hernia, like this one here, which is what she had right here. Basically, this is where the, um, this is where the umbilical cord was attached when they were born. And sometimes um, it could be genetic. Sometimes maybe the mom, you know, took it off or was too hard on it to where it left a little opening. And so sometimes it can be a little pin, pinhole umb umbilical hernia, or sometimes it can be a little bit bigger to where we need to fix it right away. So this is nothing life-threatening. Uh, we normally take care of it before the puppy goes out, unless it is super small and it can heal on its own. Uh, but yeah, we'd like to fix them here ourselves. And, uh, and one thing to look out for guys, and one reason probably why we fix them ourselves, if you have to fix them down the road, is because here, we're in the country, we have local vets that deal with this all the time, and our vets know, you know, really what this costs to take care of. But other people who adopt from Frenchies, other dogs, they're gonna, oh, that's fine, you know, they understand from the breeder, got a hernia, so forth. And they're gonna go to their vet and they're gonna, you know, say, hey, you know, down the road on their first vet check, we're gonna have to fix this. And they're gonna get a quote. And I just had a person the other day, honestly, that had a $1,200 quote to fix this two little stitches on a hernia. Here, all we gotta pay is $200 to fix that. So it's not a major surgery or anything at all. It's just like getting stitches. So just wanna give a heads up for people. Um, don't overpay. Vets can take advantage of people, especially in the city where they think that people don't know much about anything. So I do uh, wanna have you question that if you do get a huge bill or huge quote for that. Okay. Right, buddy? So if you are looking for a dog to breed, um, that's one concern potentially. It could be genetic, um, but again, it's not a life-threatening thing, but that would be a concern for some people looking to breed on maybe why not choosing a dog that has a hernia. But if you just want a pet, a hernia is not going to be any issue at all and uh, normally the breeder should fix it themselves or take a little bit of a discount on the puppy price and that's why I brought up the quote you know it should be only a two to four hundred dollar surgery well down the road if you have to pay a twelve hundred dollar bill and you expect the breeder to pay for it when we can take care of it for two to three hundred dollars you know that's kind of a, obviously a little bit of a concern so, and normally hernias aren't covered on health guarantees. Some might state that, um, but we like to say, you know, we'll cover $200 or take a couple of some money off or fix it right away. Right, buddy. <laughs> so that's the umbilical cord. Um, that's the hernia that you can get from that. The other types of hernias you can get is an umbilical hernia. Those tend to be kind of right down in this area here. you will kind of, they really like get puffy and get, yeah, really, really puff up in this region down here. So she doesn't have that. Um, that one is a little more difficult. You don't normally fix that right away. Um, but again, it's something that not life threatening, something that you can take care of. Um, but yeah, I mean, this girl, Champagne, she is going to her home. She is adopted and the customer knows about it and uh, they're getting an amazing puppy. If you guys have been following our channel, I've told you how amazing Champagne is. And uh, yeah, she did find a good home. So we're so excited for her. If you guys have any questions or concerns about hernias, feel free to comment. Let us know in the video. Come here, girly. Hey, and look who else came. It's Jamie. She is adopted too. <laughs> Thanks, guys.